I'll first start to talk about the Year 11 books. A feature of these books is the large diversity and number of questions. The questions are marked with being simple familiar, complex familiar or complex unfamiliar. There are different types of questions, there are multiple choice questions, there are technology free questions and there are extended answer questions which also add to the diversity available to both students and teachers. The books begin with material which is a revision of year 10 but lets people transition from year 10 to year 11. You can say also there's material in the book which enables the student to do some extra work in preparation for year 12. Beyond question is the fact that all of the QCAA syllabus points are covered within the book. There are revision chapters throughout the book, at the end of semester one, at the end of semester two, and there's a whole year revision too in year 11. So the student has ample opportunity to go back and revise all the material. At the end of each chapter, there's a review section Again, each of these review sections gives the opportunity to students to continually go back and review their work. In Year 12, the system is a little bit different. The Unit 3 and Unit 4 are very carefully delineated because of QCAA requirements and the exams at the end of Unit 3 and Unit 4. At the beginning of the book, there is some material which enables the student to review their Year 11 work and then proceed into Unit 3. At the end of Unit 3, there's a revision chapter which enables the student to prepare for the examination for Unit 3. The same thing happens at the end of Unit 4. At the end of the book, there is a revision chapter for the whole of the course, and this enables the student to begin their revision for the final external examination. The student, again, can use each of the review sections of the chapters and the summaries to help in their preparation for the examination. Mm -hmm.